you ask me the sudden question, what is soil? Yeah, because we happen to see, you know, we talk, we talk, we spoke that soil and uh, air and water, these are all non-living entities according to classification of science and we call them as abiotic. Abiotic, right? They are abiotic. So what is soil? Soil is? What is soil? Soil is? Soil is food. No soil, no food. Soil is food. So how best is soil? That's where we will have to look into it. Now, let me go into this. Most of the books, if you go through ecology or most of the books, if you can read, most of the, I would say, literature on soil would call soil as a mineral matter. What is soil? A mineral matter. Just like air, abiotic and non-living. Water, abiotic and non-living. Soil, abiotic and non-living. Is that so? Let me give you a different dimension for the soil. If I call soil as a living organism, would you agree to it? You started thinking. Maybe you will say, how can you call it as a living organism? Yes, because you know, like living organism should have a digestive system. Am I right? Yes, no. Living, you and I have a digestive system. Let me tell you. Logically, let us have a discussion today. Now, for example, if you find a dead dog, an animal, uh, simply for an example, I'm talk, calling it as a dog. This dead dog is lying on the surface of the soil. It's just fallen down. It's dead. One day, two days, three days, don't you find that it stinks there? And when we walk around, we are not able to even walk that place because it gives a foul smell to us. Yes? Dig a pit. Put the dog inside. Bury it. Do you get the smell? No, no. What happens inside? Decompose. Yes. But who does the decomposition? Yes. Who does it? Microorganisms, right? So microorganisms decompose the dog. Who decomposes or digests or helps in digestion of the food in our stomach and intestine? Especially the intestine. The microorganisms. So if we have microorganisms and help in digestion, we can call it as a digestive system. Logically, can we say that the soil also has a digestive system? Yes, soil logically has a digestive system. Okay, sir, digestive system is there. How about respiratory system? Does the soil respire? You know that, you and I. What do we do? We take in oxygen, give out? Yes, carbon dioxide. Please understand, Soil also takes in oxygen, gives out carbon dioxide. The health of the soil is reflected on how much of oxygen goes inside and how much of carbon dioxide comes out of the soil. So they do a lot of experiments by covering up the soil, measuring carbon dioxide output and how carbon sequestration takes place today. And today it's very, very important to identify carbon sequestration because people talk about, you know, like global warming and how much of carbon can be incorporated into the soil. So just like you and I, soil also takes in oxygen, gives out carbon dioxide. So what does soil have logically? Respiratory system. Fine sir, I agree to it. But what about circulatory system? Does soil have a circulatory system? Think about it. I'll ask you one simple question. Please don't mistake me, right? Supposing you are hurt in the leg. Supposingly you are hurt in the leg. You go to the doctor, the doctor prescribes a tablet. Do you feed the tablet to the leg or do you pop it in your mouth? <laughs> we pop it, right? So when I pop it in the mouth, how does the medicine reach to my leg? By circulation. The blood takes it over there. At home you have some right? Do you pull them out every day and feed the root or you put the water and manure on the top? We put it in the top, right? How does it go down then? Because soil has a circulatory system. Soil organisms create channels in the soil and bring all these nutrients and give them to the roots. So soil has a circulatory system. Fine, sir. How about excretory system? Ah, that's a very good question. Excretory system. Because we develop unwanted soils in our body. And once in a way, we visit the toilet, the restroom so that we can eliminate the unwanted salts through the urine. We do it. 
if you can recollect how saline soils and sodic soils which have high salts respond they don't take the salt inside they bring the salt and throw it out they bring the salt and throw it out you just uh, have a look at saline soils on the net you have a look at the sodic soils on the net you find salt layers on the top so soil can logically bring salts and throw them out okay so that i agree but what about reproductive system because reproductive system is very important for a living organism yes i agree but have you heard about this in vitro fertilization which commonly we call it as test tube babies in test tube baby even though the sperm and the ovum can be fertilized in the laboratory where should the zygote be implanted for the baby to grow where should we keep it in the uterus of a mother unless you keep this in the uterus of the mother the baby cannot grow how about your tissue culture plants you may tissue culture your plants in the lab but where have you to plant them to grow in the soil so if once it keep in the soil one day then the plant will grow so soil has a reproductive system now all this was fine suddenly it occurred to me where the soil has a brain because you know like my maths teacher used to tell me in a primary school that uh, i had clay in my head because maths did not enter but you know today if i meet my maths teacher i will tell him thanks for the compliment because soil has a brain please try to think You dig a pit, put all the biomass. Biomass is these leaves, litter, everything, right? All this kachara, what we call it as. You put it into the pit, close the pit. What happens? Decomposes. But put a seed, it doesn't decompose. It germinates. Yes, soil can distinguish what it has to decompose, what it has to germinate. So soil is very very important, and this soil gives a beautiful smell. Is it not? in hindi you call it as mitti ki khushbu in tamil we call it as manvasana you call it as in several languages we call it it is a soil aroma a beautiful smell hai na the soil have a smell yes absolutely no smell soil has absolutely no smell you take soil dry it in the sun smell it no smell i know that what you are saying sir when it rains i get the smell you see your school teacher told you very clearly water is colorless tasteless odorless so soil has no smell water has no smell am i right yeah no but soil has smell this smell is not because of the soil or water but because of the soil organisms that live in the soil especially the actinomyces a variety of soil organisms live over there a variety of soil organisms lots of soil organisms. you have the virus you have the bacteria you have the fungi you have amoebae you have nematodes you have arthropods you have earthworms you have mammals you have reptiles most of the organisms live in the soil plenty of organisms live in the soil and these organisms are the ones which relate and give life to the soil and that is the reason why we call it soil organic matter and soil organic matter in a healthy soil in our tropical climates should at least be 2 to 5 percent. This is very important for us. 2 to 5 percent. Unfortunately, in India today, our average soil organic matter is 0.4 percent. How can we improve our soil organic matter? We will see as to what happens to the soil.